Welcome back. This is going to be my daily forecast of the foreign exchange market. We'll look at five different uh, currencies pairs. Uh, and um, this is going to be my daily forecast for uh, September 30th, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to subscribe, hit the like button and also the bell button and to see our newest video, which videos, which we'll, we'll upload now on a daily basis. Um, yes, let's get to it. So we'll start out by looking at the uh, um, um, sterling and the US uh, dollar. Um, and we can see that we have run into resistance uh, just underneath uh, the 40 exponential moving average. We did, um, we have basically pulled back. At the moment, we are testing the 100 moving average. And um, at this point, I think we are going to turn around. Uh, this move was quite promising. However, there's just so much um, going on in the UK at the moment with Brexit, with the uh, uh, coronavirus, uh, and, and, and so on and so on. And the economy is doing extremely bad. So all of those things are fairly negative. Only one of those things should be really negative for the sterling. When you have all three factors and more, then it's not a good sign. Even though that the US dollar index is depreciating at the moment. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it also, uh, also affects this market uh, quite significantly. However, at this point, I do us I do think that we'll go back to this level this moving average of uh, 150 and that is uh, 1268 level. Uh, this is an absolutely impossible pair to trade at the moment. Mainly due to the Brexit. Everybody that's followed this pair since uh, since the Brexit vote um, has had a lot of problems because there's just so much news that goes out every single day which can uh, just completely destroy your trading account. Um, lows at this point I would say are down here at 1267. Absolute highs would be at the 20, uh, the 40 exponential moving average or these highs at 1293. So but this is not a pair I would, I'm considering trading. I do the analysis for it. Uh, but I know also most traders just keep away from this pair. US dollar yen, we have rallied quite significantly today. We ran into resistance here at the 50 moving average. We didn't really get close to the 50 moving average. Uh, but the technical indicators are showing quite uh, bullish momentum for for this pair the the macd is pointing to higher levels the rsi is pointing to more bullish momentum and the tokasi is also pointing to uh, to uh, bullish momentum you can see that we are running into this uh, 50 moving average here uh, we can also see it right there and that will most likely be a really tough uh, fight to get through with this currency pair. We most likely stay here for a few trading days. If we break down, we'll break down all the way down to this level at 104. If we were to break through the 50 moving average, then we have the 100 moving average above. And we see we have tested that quite often in the recent months. So that will be major, major resistant and probably the best entry point for a sell of this pair. We are still in a, in a slightly downtrend. We could uh, make a trend line from here and so on. And, uh, and that would be quite accurate there. We're still in this um, channel. And every time we get close to this resistant channel, resistant, upper resistant, we'll basically break down to this and then we'll go uh, slightly, ever slightly lower. So. US dollar, uh, euro, euro dollar, we have rallied quite significantly. We found uh, resistance at the 20 and 40 exponential moving average. Um, we pulled back uh, to 11.71. And at this 
point, I do believe will go higher. I do believe we'll go and uh, break through these two moving averages and go to the 50 moving average. Uh, and the reason why I say that is that we can see some uh, bullishness in these technical indicators. We're still quite far away from the MACD, but it's just a matter of time. But we get closer and then we'll cross and that will indicate bullish momentum. Uh, RSI is quite uh, promising, a little bit flat, but the stochastic is basically pointing to higher levels. Usually when it turns around like this, we go all the way to the top. And that means that we'll most likely get to this uh, 50 moving average. If we break through that, uh, then we'll go to, to uh, 1190. But the absolute highs for this market is at, at uh, uh, 120. And so at this point, very lows are down here at 11.61. Absolute highs are at, at uh, 12.01.00. So if we break down, then these are the significant support and, well, absolute uh, resistance is all the way up here. If you look at the Aussie US dollar, we have rallied and pulled back quite significantly. We didn't even get close to the, uh, this 20 exponential moving average. Uh, if you look at the technical indicators for this pair, they are all over the place, to be matter of fact. Uh, RSI is quite bullish. Uh, we are really far away from the MACD. Probably need uh, several days in order to get close to the signal line. Uh, and again, that will, it will take a lot of work in order to get through these uh, moving averages and all the way back to this, uh, all the way back to this uh, bullish uh, momentum that we saw um, in the last few months. So this may well be a major pullback uh, for this pair. Um, may well be, but I'm pretty sure that this will be quite a lot of work getting through these uh, moving averages. If we break down from here, then we have the 150 moving average all the way down at uh, 0 0.689. If you look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar, we are still trading technically sideways. We are in the, still in the same area as we have been for several days now. Uh, and at this point, I do believe that we're going to turn around. Um, the MACD is showing sign of weakness, meaning that we'll go and, and go retest this, uh, that go through the signal line again, indicating bearish momentum. We are over uh, bought at this point. Uh, however, the stochastic has turned around. So uh, we may probably see a few more days. The absolute highs, I think, here is uh, at this uh, 300 moving average at uh, 1346. Uh, and after that, we'll go lower. We'll probably run in support at the 50 moving average at 40, uh, 1322. Uh, and if we break through that, then we'll go to these lows at, at uh, 1.30, 1.3. So I hope you find this video helpful. Welcome to support our channel by hitting the like button and, and, uh, and, uh, and the bell button to see our newest videos that we upload now on a daily basis. Uh, good luck and happy trading. Thank you very much.